What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 craziest ring collapses in wrestling, man. It's it's one of those things where when you see a ring collapse, it's like such a big momentous occasion. Uh, I think one of the very first few times I've ever seen it happen was when Brock Lesnar suplexed Big Show from the top rope and the ring just imploded on SmackDown. I had never seen something like that. I literally lost my mind. And then, of course, we've seen a few of those spots. But I think the most recent one where the ring didn't collapse, it was pretty much just kind of lifted by a tractor between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. I thought that was a interesting concept on destroying the ring, but without it collapsing. And it's crazy because uh, Brock Lesnar seems to be one of those guys that tend to find himself in situations where rings get destroyed. So I don't know, man. It's uh, it's, it's just a cool little moment. Granted, you know, I'm glad they don't do it as much and they shouldn't. Uh, it should be one of those spectacle moments, special moments where it happens, where it makes sense. But appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's check this out. Sword. Sword. Most matches start and finish in the ring as the squared circle seeks to keep the wrestling contained to one place. But sometimes the ring itself can become damaged. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. Or it can even break altogether. Such a crazy moment. This is unique because it adds a completely different dynamic to what we know a wrestling match to be. And while the ring breaking is rare, it's mm -hmm. happened often enough that today, we're counting down 10 times the ring broke in wrestling. We start with a ring collapse that was actually caused by the fans as following a bloody encounter between the public enemy and the Whoa. gangsters. The public enemy would celebrate their victory by inviting members from the crowd into the ring. The fans duly obliged as they continued to fill and fill the ring to the point where they even covered all of the apron. All while Johnny Grunge and Rocco Rock were being hoisted high above those in the ring. However, soon the rowdiness of the fans and the sheer amount of bodies oh. in the ring caused it to completely collapse. This made for an insane visual that something like this had never been seen before in wrestling. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> People and the infamous, oh my God, that's crazy. Continued to go crazy with fans even being seen crawling out of the rubble. It was moments like this that made wow. us love ECW so much. That's As crazy. No did not know that. The made the fans part of the show more than they did. Next, we go to a tag team match from Raw in the fall of 1999. Here, the New Age Outlaws would take on the Acolytes in a physical tag team encounter. In fact, the bout was so physical it caused the top turnbuckle to completely come off. Oh. Oh. Where it would then be used as a weapon, leading to Billy Gunn being busted open. Damn. Despite the bloodshed, the outlaws managed to score the victory following a chair shot. You idiot, help! Oh! The rope breaking <laughs> gave the match a very different feel, and it was fun to see how the wrestlers used the surroundings to their advantage. Plus, it also made the acolytes seem even tougher, since they were so physical that part of the ring came off. While the outlaws showed how much of a beating they could take, while still coming away with the win. A recent example of the ring breaking happened at a WWE live event in Newcastle during a match between Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley. Both men would run towards the ropes on opposite sides oh, of the I've, ring. I've McIntyre would hit first, but he would lose his footing slightly uh -huh. due to the top rope snapping off. Things were much worse for Lashley though, as the almighty reached the ropes a second later than Drew, meaning Lashley had no rope to shoot off from, resulting in him crashing and burning to the outside. Mm -hmm. Clear more, clear more. Oh. Yeah. This was an extremely scary moment as Facts. Lashley had little control over how and where he landed. Thankfully though, his head just missed colliding with the Ooh. apron and he was able to land onto the mat on the outside without suffering injury. Yeah, man, that's just a, a fluke accident there. Um, <laughs> obviously, you know, once he ended up hitting, uh, hitting the other ropes and there's supposed to be a top rope there to kind of repel him back he just fell over so gladly he did get hurt remember seeing his uh, clip float on social media sometimes things like that happen man and i definitely was not playing for the the ropes to the top ropes to uh fall apart there the two finished the match with the top rope missing as mcintyre grabbed the win but all fans were talking about afterwards was how Bobby Lashley was lucky to be okay yeah. following such a dangerous accident. We're going to now look at the ring breaking all thanks to the work of just one man. Oh, this happened on the third episode of... W Big Show is, has been a part of uh, uh, a few ring breaks, actually. ECW Thunder back in 1998. 
At the end of the show, Kevin Nash attempted to gore the giant into hitting him. As if the giant did attack Big Sexy, then the upcoming match that sold out would have been called oh off. My gosh. Instead of taking the bait though, the giant took out his anger by uprooting the ring post, which led to the ring itself ultimately giving way. I've never seen a human being do anything like this in my life. Oh, bro. <laughs> This was a great angle That's to end the show crazy. as it got over how badly the giant wanted to get his hands on Nash. And while Scott Hall's selling in the ring may have come across a bit comical. Bro, rest in peace to Scott, man. He, he was whoa, selling it like a million bucks. The show certainly ended with the giant looking like an angry monster who couldn't wait to put a beating on Kevin Nash at the pay-per-view. Even though that isn't quite what ended up happening. While our last example achieved what it set out to do, our next one just left fans scratching their heads. Oh, and yeah. it went down at the main Bro. event. The 2021 Extreme Rules pay per view, uh, where Roman Reigns defended the Universal Championship against the Demon Finn Balor. Deep into the bout, the Demon climbed to the top, ready to hit his coup de grace finisher. However, before he could do it, the rope gave way underneath him and Balor fell to the mat. As he struggled yeah. back to his feet, Finn would then be met with a spear, which managed to get the three count and the win for Roman Reigns. No storyline reason was ever given as to why the rope malfunctioned. And unlike with other examples on this list, there was no legitimate force applied to the rope that should have caused it to collapse. Now, in reality, we know it was the cameraman standing on the apron that cut the rope. However, it would have made more sense if this spot had been done by a member of the Bloodline who yeah. were a part of Reigns' posse on the out. <laughs> simple. Simple. That, that's simple booking, bro. If you wanted him to win by that, all you had to do was literally just have one of the bloodline members do it. It would have been simple. Instead, we have to go with the forces of the man upstairs. Said, no, 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 no. No demon shall over <laughs> overthrow Roman Reigns on this day. That's not that's the only logical thing that happened, bro. The man upstairs, he he made sure that uh Roman maintained his his streak. <laughs> Outside. Now for a more realistic example of the rope coming off. This occurred during a tag match when Keith Lee and Sheamus teamed up to wrestle The Miz and John Morrison. The top rope came clean off. Oh, um, you probably have to cut something. It Instead like... of finishing the match with the rope missing like we saw in our previous examples, the WWE decided to use this moment as a way to cut to commercial with the hope that the rope coming off would shock fans enough to stay tuned after the mm. break. When Raw did return though, we were met with a member of the ring crew fixing the rope back in place whilst Keith Lee had the Miz in a rest hold. Not the best follow-up to what was without a doubt a really cool moment. Mm -hmm. Next, we have proof of how even a small amount of damage done to a part of the ring can cause the wrestlers to have to switch up their match. As we head back to the 2002 UK exclusive Insurrection pay-per-view. To close the show, The Undertaker fought Triple H. At the beginning of the match, the ropes already appeared to be loose, but it wasn't until the game Irish whipped Taker against them that the top rope malfunctioned and would then sag downwards for the rest of the oh, match. Oh, wow. Whoa. This limited any further spots the wrestlers could do involving the ropes, since yeah. any further pressure could have damaged them more, thus increasing the risk of an accident or injury. Facts. Each of the remaining moments on our list show just what can happen to the ring when super heavyweights battle on the top rope. Hope. We'll go first to an episode of Raw in 2017 big where show. the seven foot big <laughs> show clashed with the six foot eight Sound, yep. Roman. This yep. match was hard hitting right from the jump, while also later treating us to some big men chain wrestling, which was as surreal as it sounds. But things got even crazier when the two giants yep. climbed the turnbuckle. Big, big show, show is on the always a part. Braun on the second. From is there, Big Show he's always a part of these rope? Like, will the ring breaking and Brock Lesnar be a part of these ring breaking segments? And I think recently, Braun, you could kind of put him in there too as well. There, Strowman was able to hit a superplex on show as nearly 800 pounds derailed the entire ring. Oh my God. <laughs> the ref just falling With out the, the ring. Referee John Cone getting upended to the outside. It was one hell of a moment. That was a good visual. Two times a move involving Braun Strowman destroyed the entire ring. As the next time, Strowman yep. would be on the receiving That's end. Just said being it. Superplexed by the Fiend. And then the ref selling. Whoa! The would feature in more famous ring destructions than the Big Show. As six years before he and Strowman broke the ring, the world's strongest man, Mark uh -huh. Henry, would live up to his name when he superplexed the Big Show, causing the square yep. circle to explode at Vengeance 2011. Look out! 
Following this, the There's match was the no contest as neither man could continue, but the WWE title was still to be decided, and the carnage left from Henry's superplex to Big Show made the show's main event far more interesting, as John Cena and Alberto Del Rio were forced to wrestle with a ring completely broken. They made good use of this, with numerous unique spots that exploited the destroyed ring around them in what ended up being a great last man standing match. Finally, we have perhaps the most famous mm -hmm. ring break in wrestling history. It yep. also involved the world's largest athlete of course. Big Show, as he went up against Brock Lesnar on SmackDown in 2003. Great Joe moment. He had to pull out all the stops if he was to defeat Lesnar and therefore attempted a choke stand from the top rope. Brock was able to counter and then look to hit a top rope maneuver of his own, that being 500 pounds. This super was flex. just insane. Oh my God. This annihilated the ring as this it looked was such and sounded a cool as spot. though a bomb had just gone off. The crowd would go absolutely nuts with holy shit chance ringing Yeah, around that the was arena. a crazy oh. moment. Michael Cole and Taz perfectly sold yeah, the magnitude they sold this what one. had just happened. This would go down as one of the most memorable moments in mm -hmm. WWE history, especially since fans have never seen anything like it before. Yeah, this is the very reaction. first time. And as we've seen from this list, the WWE have tried to replicate this numerous times since, but none have had the same effect as when the Big Show and Brock Lesnar yeah. imploded the ring on SmackDown. And that brings us to the end of this video. Yeah, as I knew that had to be talked about because that was one of the biggest things that <laughs> we had seen at that point that once again this is not on a pay-per-view this was just on a smackdown bro this was literally on a smackdown now this is something you would reserve for a pay-per-view spot this was just on a smackdown regular smackdown bro and bruh people were talking about this people still talk about this this is when we see a ring break spot a lot of people reference this um like when it's like actually imploding like this you know we've seen it so many times but it's cool to say we come many years later and brock lesnar is doing something unique i've never seen a ring lifted in my lifetime so hey man this is this is pretty this was a pretty cool video just to go down memory lane but comment down below let me know what is your favorite i guess you could say a uh, ring destruction spot for me it has it's it's a tie it's a tie between the first time seeing the ring being destroyed with brock lesnar in the big show and roman reigns versus brock lesnar brock lesnar lifting the ring while roman reigns just rolls out of it i thought that was just i will always remember that for the rest of my days man but i appreciate all love and support man we're almost at 100 case so if you want to see your boy reach 100k hopefully sometimes before the end of this month y'all know what to do for all the new people here go ahead hit that subscribe button let me know down below what are the videos you want me to check out but i appreciate all the love and support roll to 100k i gotta say it again appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace